Hi guys, so today we're gonna be watching Gashahime episode 48 aka season 2 episode 24. Today is the last episode. Y'all, we freaking made it. <laughs> I can't believe it's done. I can't believe it's like over, you know? I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I'm not really expecting too much from this episode. It's probably gonna be like super flowery and like a little bit of like cute moments or something, but I, I just genuinely don't know. I, I can't believe it. I already went live yesterday, so if you guys want to like see like a little conversation about the last episode, once you guys live stream, the VOD will be up just like the upload before this one on my channel one more announcement if you guys really want like yashihime fire merch like stickers prints and stuff like that check out my shop at tihahasketch.com it was like my passion project from last year and i'm going to be like updating the store a lot from now on uh definitely check out the shop shipping is available internationally as well and one more thing the yashihime inuyasha kahoot game which is like a live question and answer game that i get to play with you guys is going to be live Live, April 2nd, 2022 at around 2 p.m. EST. Just check out my socials for any updates or changes, but that's like the plan right now for like a little live stream game with you guys just to ce celebrate the past two years together and like the show and then Yasha since um, it's ending. And also, before, since this is the last episode, before we go, I'll also be like reacting to like my favorite like Inuyasha episodes here and there too and probably do like a review video on uh, Yashihime as well and like some extra stuff and after Yashihime is done on April 9th it's anime called Spy Family is coming out and I will be doing reactions on Spy Family so if you guys want to like watch a new show with me I will be reacting to Spy Family anyways let's start this is Ew Chikyo man I'm grateful for you, Sashomaru. I find it interesting how they kind of like made her eyes blacken and stuff um, in the second season. But in the first season, it was straight up Kikyo. I think they did this to like differentiate the Sacred Tree and Kikyo. But I don't know. I find that interesting. Miss Girl, what about the the prophecy? Was that a lie just to get them to do your freaking dirty work? <laughs> I don't know. Not dirty work, just work. Uh, the village. The village always be destroyed, man. Miss Kayede, haven't you learned? It's not gonna be over. There's gonna be more stuff that you have to deal with for years and years. A rainbow. What does it mean? See, I knew it. I knew they were bur burying Riku's horn. Is that all? Are we gonna have like a dramatic flashback on Riku? The one that I wanted, like the teleserious and never ending feature. I'm sad. This song is so sad. I know it's like their theme, but it's so sad. <laughs> Wow, it's the sacred jewel. Weren't they supposed to like forget? Kagome's mom was supposed to like start forgetting or something? Kagome? I don't know. I'm confused. Cuz didn't Osamu Kiden ask about the jewel and then they're like, I don't know what that is. Right? Or am I smooth brain? Aww. It's like Shippo. So May became more like independent after Toa left. Miss girl, now you're asking about Kagome. I mean, they were gone for 40 whole years. But okay, okay. Do you think Moroha told them that like they were gone from her whole life and then she's like, I wonder if they're living together. <laughs> uh oh, Adam and Barrage? They're fighting together. <gasps> That's the same demon from the episode. Wait, was it from this series or from Inuyasha? When, what's his name? Moroku and the girl, Snow Babies. Is that the same episode? Demon. Oh my god, I miss him so much. I miss him so much. It only has one eye. Oh my god. Sheesh. Sheesh. I miss, <laughs> I miss him so much. I miss him so much. All of the freaking animation budget went into this scene. What the heck? This is all we wanted, guys. And we got it from the last episode. You know what that reminds me of? That pose. One of the openings. One of the openings, I swear. Adam and Barrage. <sighs> the way he's he didn't use... Dragon Scale to Saiga at all. And that's such an OP freaking <gasps> sword? Ice sword? What is this? You're in debt. Okay, so now are we having like flashbacks of conversations that should have happened, but we couldn't see at the moment because it was just too much of a crazy. It wasn't your fault though, girly. Why would you be mad? But it was her freaking teacher. It was her teacher that put her in debt. And she was in debt because Okay, if you <laughs> if you look at the root 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 problem, <laughs> it was because y'all were in the freaking pearl because of <laughs> because of zero and Kitty Maru, and then she was raised by this freaking wolf teacher, and then she was the one of the part in debt. So if you go back and back and back 
through the chain reaction of situations becoming situations, you should punish <laughs> Shomaru and her teacher. So Shomaru, are we gonna fight him today? Oh, don't be sorry. It's not your fault. Miyoga. Oh my god, Miyoga. You freaking made it. I think it would be more in character for Miyoga to like come crying and be like, the Lord in Yasha, Lord in Yasha, it's been so long or some shit, you know? Aww. Ah! <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. So freaking cute. He's like, wow, so much cares for me. It's not just Kagome. Oh, she has a new sword? Oh, I thought Niyasha was gonna repay her debt. Yeah, it's okay. She does. She does. Perfect parents, man. Can he beat up Jubei for taking advantage of her, please? Who dis, who dis? Your Riku? Or is it Koga's son? <laughs> I don't know what I'm freaking saying. Wow. Remember, your dad's rich. Your dad's rich, rich. Do you think father was worried about us? Yeah. He definitely was. He was so worried he going to Inukag into the freaking Pearl for 14 years. That's how worried he was. It feels like if father had helped us more, we wouldn't have had to go through any of that. Sheesh. Sheesh. But I think it's kind of like, well, your situations in life, like, make you stronger. This was like training. A right to occur to end cowardice. Yeah. I've experienced death twice. Almost the third time. So everyone in this family died except for Sushomaru. Well, Sushomaru almost died. <laughs> the way she's so happy, the way she's saying that, you'll be attacked by strange demons. Just for being Sushomaru's daughters, just for being who you are, you're gonna be attacked, bro. I like how happy she's saying it. Like everyone in the show has to translate what Sushomaru feels <laughs> because he can't say it himself. From Rin, we do know Sushomaru cares about his daughters very much. It's Riku. Why does he look kind of different? Or is it just me? His fit looks kind of different, and his eye color is different. Is that the person that walked in? Oh my god, the raccoons! Shippo? Oh, he's teaching them? That's the cutest transformation, man. Or is he like putting on a show? Oh, no, 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 he's teaching them. Better get paid for those lessons. Bruh, we didn't see enough of Sango in this. Or both of them together. It took us a whole 40 episodes for them to get together in a frame. Yeah. Who this? who this? Oh. Frick, why did I think Toho was someone else? I'm so dumb. It's okay, you get to see the stars. You can't see the stars in the city. No one does, Miss Girl. Except for Rin and Jokin. It's the right of courage and cowardice. Yay, so cute. I find it funny because in the ending song, she actually wears a Miko outfit like Kagome's. They were supposed to go to celebrate in the modern era, New Year's, but I guess they never did. Honestly, what Sashomaru could have done is like, he wouldn't though. But like, get Inuyasha to teach them shit because like, how else are you supposed to learn how to be a half demon? From another half demon! Wow! But I don't know, everyone raises their kids differently. Inuyasha is easy to understand. Girly, watch the first series. Watch the first series. I guess in the beginning he wasn't. No, don't call him Mr. Inuyasha, call him uncle. <laughs> So you won't lose to any bully? I get that. I get that. Maybe. Maybe, girlies. Go to Sushomaru and tell him. Freaking throw hands with him right now. Moroha doesn't have to hear this. He does. I like it when they hug. They're so freaking cute, man. Cousin. <laughs> Friend cousin. Now she's gonna cry because she's not alone anymore. What? Oh my god. Is this Riku? Just has to tie his hair a bit. The way Tawa doesn't even realize, and then Muroha and Tsutsune are like, Hmm, her eyeshadow looks a little familiar. That voice sounds a little familiar. And Tawa's just like, yeah, let's make some money. <laughs> huh? Bug? Was it a bug? So she does see. Huh? Huh? What? Okay, I'm a huge firm believer in... When people are dead, they should stay dead. How did this happen? Okay, now girly can smell. Now mans can do magic. Huh? I am a lust for words. I get it that they did this for the fandom, but it's like, how? How did he? Did he like just turn into the freaking horn and then like alive again after she like buried it in the ground? 
I'm so confused. Are we gonna get some Hisui and Setsuna action today? If we do get another season movie OVA, I would love to see Hisui and Kohaku's growth. Please. There's such wasted potential in my opinion. <sighs> they should have like explored them more. Because like Kohaku went through all that trauma. I think they could have like added on to his healing process. He even admitted that he that suit is stronger than him. Is it a date? <laughs> JK JK. Well ask Kisui to come. Can you confess this some shit? Wow. Who's really the dense one? What do you <laughs> What do you mean? Are we gonna get a, a time skip? No, stay together. Y'all didn't even get to hang out for long enough. You have to make up for 14 years. What the heck? The debt that didn't belong to her in the first place. Hug! They're getting a hug again. Yay! What does Rika want? Yeah, how's he alive? <laughs> By the way, Riku in the manga is so like... <laughs> they revived him. Wow, they really said, okay, y'all complaining that you only got Kiin Munu. Here is Riku too. <laughs> yeah, how's that possible? So Shomaru never spoke again. This is literally parallel to like the final acts when Kikoma's like, <laughs> bye mother. But it doesn't hit the same. Like there was theories that like it was Inuyasha that was like flying and then Rin's like, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, brother. Yeah, say more words to Shomaru. We'd like to hear from you. We would like to hear your reasonings. Please. Please. Is that all you want to say? So Shomaru's acting cheerful. <laughs> Can you kick him next time? <laughs> Freaking jock in third wheeling the whole rest of his life. What now? What now? What is this? Wow, Riku got a whole new outfit. Oh, he gets to keep his, his boat. I kind of miss Riku's purple eyes. Wow. This is how we're ending it, bro. I like how Inuyasha got two hugs and Sashomaru didn't get one. <laughs> oh my god, Riku. How? I, I understand how, but like how? Could it be that you're half demon? Where's Sashomaru's daughter? And, and Moro has Inuyasha's. Is that actually it? You know, it's funny because the never ending future from now on is basically just. Riku, Toa, and Sasuna, and Moroha going on adventures, defeating demons, right? That's the journey, right? I feel like a lot of this is what we kind of really originally thought would have happened in the show. But like with the girls and Kohaku and Hisui, right? And Takichiyo, I guess. And that's what we, we really thought would have happened, like them traveling together and defeating demons. But it didn't really go that way. And I think it's interesting that they went this route with Riku. But I guess they went this route because... Kohaku and Hisui have their own like company and job to do but it's like they still could right they still could have joined I feel like this is a weird last episode it was kind of like oh what happens after I guess but it still leaves so many questions they, I think they left it kind of open just in case they would decide to continue the story with another season or if they wanted to have like an OVA or like if they wanted to have a movie so they would have content to write about it. Sad, it's over! The last two years of my life went into this show. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel? I feel very indifferent. Like, obviously, if you're gonna compare this show to the original, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like the same. And I think that's like something I realized early on. And I, I think I accepted it early on that it's not gonna be as great, you know, as Inuyasha was. It's okay, man. It's okay. Like, I know a lot of fans, like, will be so happy that Riku's alive. But I'm a firm, 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 firm believer in when characters are dead, they should stay dead. <laughs> I know they brought him back because they knew that the audience would feel so sad. And I guess it's fine. They didn't really do justice with his death anyways. So it's like, I get it. I don't know, I think I'm being really harsh, but like, I feel like an ending should be... And things gotta hit harder. And I guess I didn't. I just feel more sad that like <laughs> we don't get to watch it together anymore. <laughs> also, this is the last um, discussion that we get to go through. Yeah. <laughs> I get to read your comments for the last time. Let's read some comments. They must have consulted Rumiko herself to write the last episode because it feels so much like the OG series. I think it does 
feel similar to the OG mainly because it brings a lot of the similar elements I guess you could say. I, I personally think the episode before this one felt more like an ending than maybe I'm just like too shocked that Riku is back and alive. If they continue with that I think a season 3 would be amazing watching the girls grow and train and interact with people from their past as well as their parents past. That would have been really cool. I think that's what I, we kind of again really wanted for the actual show you know like them interacting with a lot of people from their past adventures um i would be so excited if they continued that way and i think with the way it ended i think it's possible that they could explore that route you know i still need more fan bam moments and flashbacks of the girls growing up the pacing slowed down and now they aren't cramming everything into two seasons i still want to know how moroha grew up because we still don't freaking know like why was koga there huh koga where you at why 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 <laughs> Man, I can't believe this is the end. I look forward to Saturdays every time because there will be a new Yashihime episode. And I looked forward to the beginning of the week to catch your reaction video step. So thank you, Karan. That means so, so, so much. You're always like one of the first ones to comment. And I really, 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 really do appreciate you so, 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 so much. It feels like it was yesterday when I heard the exciting announcement of Inuyasha getting a sequel anime after many years. It was especially special to me because I finished rewatching Inuyasha as a whole that exact same year. Yashihime him just got announced 2020 man it's almost been two years it'll be two years in may and i remember when i first heard about it literally i was crying i was jumping up and down and then i read the synopsis and i was like where are their parents huh where are their parents same here it became a little routine of on saturday mornings drinking a cup of coffee watching yashihime like reliving my childhood of watching early morning cartoons i got a dm from someone i think i got a dm from jessica and she was like oh i'm gonna watch the yashihime episode at 3 a.m just so it's like how it was um, when i was a kid it's like one of those things you know how like if you had like a nintendo 64 console we all like kind of blew into it to like get the dust out and then play it i feel like a lot of us can kind of relate to growing up late night in Yasha playing on our tv and i and i think that's like a, a really cool thing that like early gen z and um a lot of millennials can relate and i think it's like something that a lot of us can really bond over and i loved it so much i'm so sad the show has to come to the end but the last episode ended up great and it ended off where i feel like it'd be good to end there uh, but there's also potential for our season three since the girls are off on a journey like any gag did yeah either way i'm overall happy with the show i'm so glad they made a chill final episode like this yeah i think it, it was cool um, if we do compare it to the original one, no, I keep saying it was kind of more chill too after the whole battle. I think the major part was like Kagome coming back, and then like the following action was like talking about like what everyone's kind of doing and stuff like that, which is really similar to. It was a really chill episode. I felt what was missing in the final act that I wish they did a whole final episode. I personally hope there's a season three. I'd be okay with the chill filler like episodes but I realized the writers could possibly still have to come up with a new big plot and I have no idea what that could be. Same, same, because it's like, what other really intimidating big foe could there be other than you know Taisho's opponent? Even though I feel like they could have made Kinin Maru a lot more scarier by showing his like true form or whatever, he is supposed to be like, like one of the strongest demons out there, you know? If they're gonna have a new opponent, they're gonna need someone stronger or something stronger to kind of top it, if that makes sense. If it's someone weaker, then it's like, you know that they can defeat them. If they do bring someone back, like a new opponent, they have to be stronger so we know that there will be more growth and like struggle to defeat that new opponent, if that makes sense. Um, I'm so happy Moroha finally paid off her debt with the help of her dad. I know, that was so cute. Moroha tearing up having Toa and Satsuna as friends. I know, friend cousins. I'm gonna rewatch the whole thing again yeah i think i'm gonna rewatch it again in um english dub probably rewatch it again so i can have like a little review video for you guys oh man feeling bittersweet here on one hand the series felt very meh as a whole but it had a handful of really solid episodes that still make it worthwhile to show somehow i agree i really do agree like even though overall it was kind of like not the crazy amazingness but i really 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 do love and appreciate the little moments like just feeling excited you know like those moments those little moments that like that made it like really worth it for me too i agree to be honest though this episode in particular felt like it should have been the first of season one the first episode 
of season one. Um, the pacing was much better and everyone's story was concluded in a very satisfying way. Even Riku, whom I stopped caring for somewhere in <laughs> mid season two. I stopped caring about Riku when he started siding with Zero. I was like, man, I trusted you, man. And then like Zero died and he became likable again. <laughs> Because he started caring about um, Rion and stuff like that. Made me feel things again. And for once, his romance with Toa didn't feel awkward but organic. Yeah, I agree. It did feel like a lot better <laughs> in this episode than like, in my opinion, the past episodes. It did feel more genuine here. I think it has to do with the fact that he did talk about his feelings before dying. And I think it was funny how he was like, oh, it was kind of awkward, you know? But I think it's also interesting how Toa was like talking about Riku and he's like, oh, he has like a lot on his mind and stuff like that. But like, I'm sure he does because like his family is technically dead, but they did also help revive him too. So I thought that was was interesting. For Inuyasha's family, they spoiled us so much with adorable Monoha content we've been craving for so long. They did not spoil us. This is what we deserve. Hello? And the fact that they gave us at the very end of the series <laughs> make me feel some type of way. I'm not even mad it took over 30 episodes to get there. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad, but I'm happy that we actually did get there and that's what matters to me to be honest Her and Inuyasha fighting side by side and asking her parents for a hug freaking love that. They're so loving I love it and even being recognized by Toa and Tetsuna as the great friend and person she is <sighs> I still really hope I, <laughs> I want Inu gang to have their conversation I think that's what we missed too. Truly this wasn't missing from season one and I'm so glad we finally got it Maroha deserves it. If I had to rewatch an episode, that'd be the one. It hit me right in the feels and feels like a solid feel-good conclusion for Yasha Himi to end on. It definitely was a feel-good conclusion. We still are missing the Inu gang just kind of because they're like, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> it happened behind the scenes, man. Kohaku talking to Sango. Like they never even talked to each other the whole series. Sango and Kohaku never had one conversation other than the first episode, I think. I'm so sad yet so happy at the same time. It's a bittersweet feeling. It was a great ending, yes, but it still lacked many important things for me. The biggest of which the well gate opening so Kagome and fam can reunite again. I think it's one of like those things where maybe Rumiko just doesn't want them to. I don't even know if like Kagome actually was able to go back, was she? After the final acts ended, right? And I again like as much as I do want Kagome to meet her her family again in the modern era, like I I want them to because I really want and Yasha and so, so to, to see each other again oh my god mainly but I know they wouldn't have that because I think it just would kind of make Kagome's decision not as much of a hard one you know because like to me the way I saw her decision at the end of the final acts was like oh it's like choosing this world over the world i grew up in or his to be with him you know and for me it was such a strong 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 decision for kagome to make and an important one knowing like she wouldn't be able to go back it's like a permanent decision kind of like marriage but like to me personally it just made it more of an, an important decision for her so i understand why they wouldn't have them like see each other again not really like confirm but like kind of hint that that they didn't really get to see each other again if that makes sense after kagome's decision that's all nah yeah i still want the girls to witness their father's demon form that would be epic yeah we were robbed of it in the kirimu versus Sashomaru fight especially when i want to see kirimu's demon form we're never gonna be able to see kirimu's demon form man but yeah the girls should see Sashom because again if the girls did see Sashomaru's demon form they'd be like oh my god like he's such a strong demon like this is what a true demon is right <sighs> robbed 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 i want to see more such rin moments i want to freaking <laughs> kiss uh, is that too much to ask i want more such rin Tatsuna toa moments as a family i need it okay <sighs> i know i know it's like such so just too hard-headed uh, but like i know it's like out of his character but like if he did develop enough to have half demon children i feel like he would have developed enough to stand there as his kids hug him or to have a conversation with his kids or even to say i am proud of you or something like that or even to say i did this because x y and z from him over like having other people to say because like i feel like it would be so annoying just to like keep hearing things from other people instead of hearing stuff from like the person themselves i'd be like bruh 
You tell me. Like, I would go up to Sashomi and be like, yo, you let us die how many times? I would, I would like, as a daughter, I would be like, you did all of this stuff. I almost died. She almost died. Lala, well, I know we didn't die, but like, we almost did actually died. <laughs> right to force him to say something to me because bruh i'm not gonna let that stuff slide i'm gonna lose i'm losing my voice i've been talking way too much like the session in moments as well like i'm okay with it like i feel like that's another like step but like the bare minimum for me is him talking to his daughters that's the bare minimum for me <laughs> i don't know why i'm so mad i'm not mad but it's like mm. i want more inu kag and Moroha family moments i we are dry of that. I know we're getting it in the manga, but like interactions with Sango, Moroku, and Moroha, or like Sango, Moroku, and like just the, the kids and Inu Kag as well. I know we're getting it in the manga, but like I, I want that. <laughs> I want that in moving 2D. I want Sashomaru to scare the crap out of Hisui for trying to court his daughter. Yeah, that would be so funny. That would be so funny. That would be so funny. I know they're kind of hinting at like Hisui, Sasuna, blah, 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 blah. If we do get more content, Definitely, we will see more development, but I would love that. I would love that so, 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 so much. Even if Moroha gets a man's too, I definitely know Inuyasha would like throw some hands at this man. Or like girlfriend as well. I don't know who um, Moroha is interested in, but whoever she chooses, um, I want Inuyasha to like. Okay, let me know your social security number. I need to know your parents, where you are, your name, your first name, last name, where you grew up, your whole education background and everything and prove to me that you will be good to my daughter stuff like that you know this episode was weird but i really liked it i'm sad it's over it broke my heart that the, for the first time we got no news or preview for future in the end of the episode i know that's why i was like scrolling towards the end i was like are we is it really done are they gonna like surprise us at the end but it's really over i'm gonna miss talking about the show with the fandom thank you for your awesome reviews reaction thank you so 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 much your mama thank you i hate that people are mad that the show didn't have a deep talk no! <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> Oops, I went on a whole rant before reading this. I'm so sorry. But I. He doesn't have to have a deep talk. I think just the bare minimum is just to say, hey, you no, know, hi. <laughs> or hug the girls. I, I understand him not hugging the girls. Bro, Sushomaru is a thug ass gangster, WTF, in my opinion. It would have been felt so fan y and out of character if he did that. I agree. I agree the hug. I agree maybe the romance stuff with Rin. I agree deep talk talk but i think the bare minimum for me would have just been like for him to say what rin said but maybe like not as soft as how rin said it but maybe like like you know how sashomaru said to jock in the, in the episode before this one he said if i didn't spare kinin maru and rion my daughters wouldn't have been saved or whatever like something like that like a one-liner i don't know like just something just something it doesn't have to be deep if he was able to say that much to jock in he can say that much to his daughters He's never shown any affection. That's what makes him cool. He doesn't have to show affection. He can say it with a straight face. <laughs> Even if it's to his own family, he's shown his love with the fabric he gave them. That's true. That's true. And also, hell yeah, Riku made it. Ah, uh, that's true. He did show his love with the fabric. But I do think, okay, I was about to say, oh, maybe like if Sashomaru gave them the fabric himself. I agree that that would have been too much for him. But again, the one liner, just the one line. Because if you, because if you, okay, if you are. <laughs> If your argument is that <laughs> Sashomaru is like the gas gangsta, if you look at the first series, this man used to talk so much and he used to smile a lot. In this whole series, I never seen him smile. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe once. I don't know, actually. What happened? Where did the smile go? Where did all his lines go? They're all gone. Okay, I think it's gonna be the last one because my voice is gone. I feel a bit sad because there was a moment I was waiting for, but it didn't happen. I want to see what has reaction when Kagome says sitting. <gasps> missed opportunity! Another thing we missed. Another thing we have to see. <sighs> Moroha was sleeping when she did it. That only happened in front of Toa and Sasuna, but well, I'm, ha I'm still happy with the stories presented and we'll d definitely miss them very much. I'll miss Moroha so, so, so much. She's my baby. I hope there'll be a m movie version soon. Thanks. I feel like if they do a movie version of the show, it would be rushed. I just, if they do a movie version, I want them to have a new story. Thanks, Ashley, for accompanying my Saturday. Oh, so cute. Um, I think that's all. I'm gonna try to read more of the comments um, in my live stream. 
tomorrow which would have happened yesterday if i'm uploading this on monday so definitely go check out my live stream i'll be reading more comments but yeah thank you guys so 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 much for participating in all of i'm gonna cry i'm more sad that like we're we're done like watching this together because i liked it it was fun reading your comments and tweeting about it every week <sighs> even though i'm complaining right now <laughs> about so many things i was a lot of my just inner feelings um coming out since this last episode but it's like whatever i did overall enjoy the series so 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 much and i enjoyed and loved talking about it with you guys in the discord on twitter on instagram <sighs> every single week and i loved just the anticipation and uh just everything uh, with you guys and it means so 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 much if you guys were here in the beginning i did start doing anime or covering anime on this channel because of yasha hime and because of this show like i did meet so many people i learned so much things about people about i learned so much about anime i learned so much about like animation voice acting i met voice actors i'm friends with the voice actor <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm friends with voice actors. I played Among Us with voice actors and it's all because of this show, man. I don't know. I made so much friends because of this show. And like although this like I've I've said this so many times on like my social medias or whatever, but like although the show needed work in a lot of aspects and it wasn't exactly everything we wanted and it's not what we expected for a sequel and i still believe that inuyasha does deserve a better sequel but on top of all those feelings i did enjoy making these videos every single week reading all of your comments tweets dms on instagram messages on discord us freaking simping over all the characters <laughs> Like, although, like, I, I, I enjoyed all that, I enjoyed seeing, like, a continuation of the world that I loved growing up so, so, so much. And as you guys, most of you guys know, like, Inuyasha is, like, my childhood show and, like, it saves me a lot growing up. It was, like, my comfort show. Like, every time I was sad, I would literally watch Inuyasha because it would always brought me back to, like, a happy place in my life growing up. When, like, when I was, like, a kid, when my family was together, um, we would watch this together. It would just, like, teleport me. And just, like, seeing the characters back in action just new content was enough for me to keep going with this show and although i'm i will complain today and my voice is going away i am so 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 thankful for this show every week it was really hard to get through because i would hear a lot of like mean things about the show from a lot of people to me it's like when you hear bad things about like a show that like you want to enjoy you can't really control what other people feel about the show or just say in general but what you can control is how you react to it to what you hear about what other people say and i chose to ignore those people because like bruh i'm gonna enjoy this like i don't care if you don't like it i'm gonna enjoy the show and i'm gonna have fun with it i'm gonna make all the jokes i want to say i want to roast all the characters and i want to stick around until you know we see the families together and that's all i really wanted to do with the show and i'm glad that we did this together despite all of our deep 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 deep, deep opinions despite you know a lot of the haters like as you guys know in the beginning of this 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 yasha Hime journey like your girl was attacked just about talking about this show man it was really rough in the beginning but um i learned so much about like the internet just people in general fandoms sheesh i don't know if i'll get too deep into another fandom ever again <laughs> after this uh, but i still enjoyed the, the journey um even though it was a scary one <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much again for watching this video. The whole playlist of all of my Inuyasha, Yashihime reactions are in a playlist on my channel. So if you guys ever want to like revisit my old theories, my old reactions, or if you want like someone to watch the series with again, I'm there. All my videos are there still, all archived. And yeah, I think that's all for today. I'm gonna cry. Ah, I'm gonna cry. I don't want to say bye. <laughs> I don't want to say bye. I know there will be more things for me to do in the future, but like, I, it's hard because I dedicated my life to this show for like two years, man. And I was 19 when I started like covering this show. And now I'm, <laughs> now I'm 21. I could drink in the States. <laughs> um, but um yeah i think that's all for today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget the kahoot this saturday april 2nd at 2 p.m est we get to play games together for the last time i uh, thank you guys so much for loving my reactions every week uh, okay <laughs> thank you guys oh my god uh.
Thank you guys so much for loving my reactions every week. You guys gave me purpose in this world <laughs> for the past two years, and I really, really do appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Um, thank you for commenting that you liked my videos, and thank you for commenting all of your thoughts and the discussions and participating every week because a part of you guys are in my videos too. It's not just me. You guys are in it too. And yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Ah, my voice is literally gone. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> next time. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>